Hey everybody, what's up? This is Kendra and I am coming to show you all some things that I picked up lately. Um, this will primarily be a Tuesday morning haul. I'm going to show you all some things that uh, Miss Martha is just taking all our coins. She is taking it all, baby, before she go into her bungalow and lay low. She is taking all of our money before she disappear. So I'm just going to jump right into it and show you all what I picked up. Finally able to get some of the embossing folders. I'm not sure if I had this one from the last time. Tuesday morning had the embossing folders. But this one here is the number. They are all 99 cents. You all probably have seen these. I only have a couple because they haven't really hit yet. This one, um, it could either be the military ribbon. It can be the breast cancer awareness ribbon. So you can use this one for a lot of different uses so that was 99 cents and as always i'm just picking stuff at random decided to get just a couple of the um, downton abbey dies mainly because i i was thinking about um window openings and like shaker car openings that's what i had in mind when i purchased this don't ask me why i'm still buying dies and i have a scan and cut now like I don't know bought this one because it has the Florida leaves on it yeah cuz I really didn't even want to pay five dollars for a die especially when these next ones were 99 cents like what so yes yeah, 99 cents for these and I'm sitting on the floor with my shedding rug of course I think this is two no oh, that's one in there um, not really, really crazy about this pattern. It may look better when it once it's cut, but it just looked like it's some leaves, like what do you call it, like maple leaves or something. I don't know. I don't quite understand it, but for ninety nine cents, I picked up a couple so I can include in my um, giveaway that's coming up in July. Um, I do have one of these already. I showed this previously. So I just picked up another one to include in the giveaway. <clears throat> Next, um, I decided to pick up these wooden frames. You get 12 in a pack for $1.99. Um, open these up. Not sure if I'm really crazy about them. I don't know. I'm not really crazy about this line. Period. I don't know. I know like my girl Charlena, she loves this line. But see... Some of them appear to be a little irregular, which I guess is okay. You see how the tips of it is still white. So it's just a wooden frame, and I don't know. They appear to be painted, or I don't know. This is how they look. It give you, it, it'll give you some dimension to your cards or whatever you're making. I'm trying to get this glare. There you go. Excuse my little toe yeah so I don't know not so crazy about that should have followed my first mind and left that mess right there um next um I did pick up this one little sticker it's a cork sticker it says travel vacation journey it's something different almost feel like I have one of those um, next, picked up another one of these. I think I picked this up before too, but these are coming back in, in um, Tuesday morning for 99 cents. I want to say they were like $3.99. The silicone molds was $3.99. Previously, bought a couple packs of. Oh, and I just. One just slid way over there. Um, a lot of the stickers, you know, I think I, I shared previously that they were originally 99 cents. They came back as 49 cents. And now some of the same doggone stickers that were just 49 cents are coming back as $1.99. Total buffoonery, right? So I decided to pick up some of the ones that that I liked that were that never came to my Tuesday mornings. And I, not, I never even saw them actually, not in Tuesday morning. Um, but I picked up this first one. It was $1.99. I think these flowers are gorgeous. Really pretty. And you get 15 pieces, so it wasn't bad. Next, I picked up this one. And here's a number. And these are some, it says pink, red, orange poppies. Very pretty. They almost look like a crepe paper. 
but they have some texture paper on. I don't know. They feel thicker than a than a tissue paper. I don't know. But I thought those are pretty. And next, I picked up these. Here's a number of this one, and these are just some lily lilies and pastel colors. You can see all the veining and everything embossed on them. I thought these were very, very pretty. So worth $2 to me. Next, I picked up um, just another one of these bags from the Tim Holtz sale. As I saw, I was watching. I don't even know whose video I was watching, but someone gave the idea. that Because when I, I bought one at the sale, and I was saying I was going to put the longer paint brushes in it. But then somebody said they were putting like all their paints in, a, in one and all of their such and such and another one so i thought that was a good idea because this is a pretty long bag you probably can get a lot of product in it it's not the best i mean i wouldn't put something that's too too heavy in here maybe even your longer stickers maybe because this is a really long um bag so yes i'm gonna play around with this um and see what kind of usage i can get out of that and what i will come up with to use Next, I found some of these puffy stickers um, by the Flower Girl collection. Only 99 cents that we are memory keepers. I think I have some of those from a while ago. Um, next, picked up this uh, pack of Heidi Swap watercolor tags, and they were only $1.49. <clears throat> some of my rug. And here are the tags in there. Really cute, just something to add uh, let's see next I picked up these seals only because I love the blue color and I will layer these on embellishment tags so 99 cents I thought that was cool did pick up another did find uh, another one of the calligraphy pens I really really like this pen I hope I find some more I wish they come out with some different colors this is just a basic black, but this this pen is very, very nice. If you see these, pick them up. Next, um, found a pack of ne the neon color glitters for $6.99. Joanne still had these packs for $25 or $30. I just posted a picture of it. And even though it's half off, it's still way less with the coupons. So... Yeah, but y'all know Joann's will start discount, uh, discounting that stuff soon since we all see Martha is going away. But these are some pretty colors, pretty neon colors. Um, let's see, what else? Found this. Um, it says it's a jewelry frame. It's by DCWV. And there is the size. It has six hooks. It has the canvas in the background. There are the hooks, and I was thinking I can put some of my prettier tassels on these. It was only $5, um, even if you want to use it for something else. If you actually wanted to use it, it does have a stand. If you wanted to use it for something else, so you can hang it on the wall or um, display it on your dresser. Fat Girl Issues, y'all know I always got to show y'all something good to eat found these baby i went back looking for some more of these bad boys i need to check some other locations these things are delicious they are the bomb.com i don't even really care for biscottis biscottis um but this lemon and pistachio i dipped it in my coffee oh y'all get your life get your life honey so next um i shared this one on my Instagram, this is just an essential packet, a paper pad. Here is a number. There are several of these. I only chose two. And I'm hoping that the lighting will be better than the pictures I shared on my Instagram. So it just goes from darker to lighter. Has glitter paper in there. Has different texture paper. Really, something really pretty. Just really springy, summery looking. Almost Easter-y looking. This is probably something that you actually don't have to have. Especially if you have solid color pads. But, yeah, I know the routine. Next one. This is a really nice one to have. This one is all the seasons. Seasonal. There is a number. And this one was really pretty. I really like this one. I call everything pretty. 
But y'all know that just mean I think it's nice. It's just my opinion. Gingerbread man. Why is Santa yellow though? Like uh you too pale, Santa. You need a tan. Some pretty green glitter paper. Love that page. Nice subtle leaves, but you definitely see them. Love the pumpkin. I love this next one. Look how cute that is. They have the little eyelashes, the little pumpkin. Bougie pumpkin. Why that cat look so scary? Yeah, I am by. Will not be using it. Skeleton. Love that page. These films about to knock me out. Look at the Easter page. So yeah, so that's this one. That's a pretty good pad for five dollars. Um, next, I just picked up some of the um, Circle Edge Punch um, so, and some of the frame punches. I guess I'll show the frame punches first. Just picked up two of those because I do. I was able to find this at the Martha Stewart sale, the, um, the frame punch starter kit. So that was $3.99. And I just want to inform the, the frame punch, the frame border punch is a total different system from... The Circle Edge Punch Starter Kit, and it's totally different from the Doily Starter Punch. And I just learned the difference with the Doily and the the Doily and the Circle Edge Punch on yesterday, and I'm going to show that in a second. So yes, yeah, so I picked up these. I thought that design was very pretty. Photo Lucy sent me some of these, so I have about four, or five now. And then I've picked up two more of the circle edge punches. This one is the leaf, the round leaf, and this one is the triple web. And these are all from the sale. Here's what the, no, that's not this one. No, this is the one that came with the starter set. I was trying to show you all what it looked like. Here's the leaf one. Very, very pretty. That's that one right there. So it's really pretty and I don't even know what size I made it. But um, yes, um, someone sold me their Circle Edge Punch. And I actually thought this was the one that was for sale in Tuesday morning. But come to find out, it is not, guys. So all everybody who's purchasing these Circle Edge Punch, this is the one that you need. The Circle Edge Punch Starter Kit which I didn't see in the Tuesday morning sale. I didn't see it on anybody's page. What I saw was the doily um, punch. So keep that in mind. If you, if, you, if you were able to get your hands on the doily punch, that was $3.99 at Tuesday morning, then you need the doily cartridges, not the circle edge punch cartridges. So I'm really grateful that um, this lady was able to sell this, that you know was willing to sell me hers, and she wasn't using it because it, it's exactly the one that I needed. I needed the circle edge punch. So keep that in mind with your punches. Um, let's see. And I think that is it for Tuesday morning. I am going to show just a couple things that I bought from Joanne since I have a little bit of time left. Got these on sale at Joanne. Thought they were really cute. Got these tags. These are metal tags. You only get three, but they were like $2.39. Plus, I use a 25% off. And they have different sizes and different styles. Um, all of this stuff is 40% off. Plus, I had I used a 25% off coupon from Michaels. These are on the clearance. All of this is on the clearance. Found one new 6x6 paper pad called Lullaby. I'll show it real quick. I am almost out of time. And I will see you all in the next haul. I'm gonna come back and share some of my Michaels um, finds. I'll show you some of the paper pads from Michaels. Bought this stamp set for vacationing. Really love that one. Some 4th of July stickers. Some clearance items. I'm gonna put this in my origami owl charm. And that's it, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace.